Hey everyone, welcome to Monday Mindset. Each Monday, I share inspiration and education to support your sugar and flour free lifestyle so you can lose weight for the last time. Today, we are tackling one of the most common myths in the weight loss world the idea that you need superhuman willpower to succeed. It's something that we hear all of the time. If I only had more willpower, I could finally lose the weight or I'd be able to stick to my healthy habits if I just wasn't so weak. But guess what? This belief is one of the biggest roadblocks on your journey. The truth is that relying on willpower for long-term weight loss is a mistake. And today I'm going to show you why, and more importantly, how to achieve weight loss without relying on willpower at all. Okay, so let's dive in here. Willpower at its core is the ability to resist short-term temptations in order to meet long-term goals. So it's a mental muscle that helps you to say no to the donut at the office or, or hitting the snooze button when you plan to get up early for a workout. But here's the thing. We have to stop thinking of willpower as an endless well of strength. It is actually a very finite and limited resource. And every time you use willpower throughout the day, whether it's resisting unhealthy food, focusing on work tasks, or even something as small as deciding whether to answer an email, you're you're depleting that resource. Uh, Research shows that the more decisions that we make and the more temptations that we resist, the less willpower we have left. So this is why by the end of a long day, a long, exhausting day, you might find it harder to make healthy choices or stick to your goals. So this phenomenon is called willpower depletion. Imagine it like a battery at the beginning of the day, at the start of the day, your willpower might be fully charged. But with each decision, it drains a little bit. So eventually that battery runs low and you find yourself reaching for comfort food or skipping your evening workout because you just have simply run out of self-control. So here's the kicker. Many people believe that they can improve their lives if they only had more willpower. In a survey that was taken by the American Psychological Association, participants Uh, consistently said that a lack of willpower was the number one reason that they didn't follow through with their healthy lifestyle changes. And they think that if they could just like power through, they'd be successful. But this thinking is flawed. Relying on willpower alone, it puts you in a position to fail. Willpower gets depleted throughout the day as we navigate work and family and the countless small decisions that you have to make. So by the time you're faced with a big choice like sticking to your meal plan, it's often too late. You've run out of that mental energy. So what's the solution? How do you bypass willpower so you can still achieve your health goals and lose weight for the last time? The key to sustainable permanent weight loss is not willpower. It's planning and preparation. When you have a plan in place, you don't have to rely on spur-of-the-moment decisions when your willpower is low. So let's talk about some practical ways to bypass willpower and set yourself up for success. One of the most effective strategies for bypassing willpower is planning and prepping ahead of time. So this just means pre-deciding what you're going to eat, when you're going to exercise, and how you're going to handle potential triggers or anticipated obstacles that day. So for example, meal planning is a game changer. When you've already decided what you're going to eat the next day, you don't have to make the decision when you're tired and willpower depleted and the kids are crying. (laughs) Like that's not the time to make a food choice. So we want to decide beforehand, before we're in that situation. You've already committed to your plan. So when you get to that point, you've already committed to your plan. And now you just have to follow through. I, for me, my health journey, in my health journey, this has been life-changing. I have been on the right dieting roller coaster my entire life. I had tried it all. I'd relied on willpower to try to power through and stick to 
to calorie counting or aggressive caloric deficits or whatever my plan was. And I just tried to use willpower. But back in 2020, when I was 284 pounds and I was just sick and tired of being sick and tired, I found something that actually works because the thing is that we can't rely on willpower. That's why those strategies didn't work for me. We need to bypass willpower. And the habit of simply deciding, pre-deciding, writing down what I was going to eat the next day and committing to eat that and only that absolutely changed my life. I also recommend batch cooking or prepping your meals in advance. So when healthy food is ready to go, you are eliminating the temptation to reach for something quick and unhealthy when you're tired or stressed. You're setting your future self up for success. So another way to bypass willpower is by building strong habits. When something becomes a habit, you no longer need to rely on willpower at all. It becomes automatic. So think about brushing your teeth, for example. You don't have to muster up the willpower to brush your teeth every morning and night. It's simply a habit that you've built over time, and the same can happen with your food and your exercise choices. By consistently repeating healthy behaviors over and over again, they eventually become second nature. It's not about how well we do it. It's about how many times we repeat the behavior. And with time, it becomes second nature and automatic. So start small and build from there. Maybe your first habit is eating a sugar and flour free breakfast every morning. And once that becomes automatic, then you can add in another habit like going for a walk after dinner. And the more healthy habits that you stack on top of each other, the less that you're going to need to rely on willpower. And that's when losing weight can become easy and effortless. And, and before you know it, you've experienced this incredible transformation. Your environment also plays a huge role in your ability to stick to healthy choices. If your kitchen is full of tempting foods, you're going to have to use willpower every time you walk in there. If you have not my food on the counter and you walk by it multiple times a day, you're depleting your willpower every time you walk by it. And you're strong enough to resist the temptation until your willpower is depleted and is actually a physiological thing in your brain. If you, but if you create an environment that supports your goals by keeping healthy options front and center and removing temptations, you'll drastically remove, uh, reduce the amount of willpower needed. And so that's why I encourage my clients to clean out their pantry and stock their fridge with foods that align with their sugar and flour free lifestyle. So when the temptation isn't there, you don't have to fight it. So it's a lot easier to avoid temptation to, than to resist temptation. Developing routines and rituals are going to help you to stay consistent without relying on willpower. So for instance, the morning routine that sets the tone for the day can really prime your mind for success. You might start with a healthy breakfast, a prayer, a short meditation, and reading something inspiring or some journaling. And having these rituals in place, it helps you to replenish your willpower. It helps you to make better decisions throughout the day because you've already established a mindset of health and focus. So just remember that willpower, it's a reflection of your worth or your strength. It's just one very small piece of the puzzle. And if you slip up, don't beat yourself up. Give yourself grace. Instead, learn from the experience, do the self-reflection, and quickly course correct. Get right back on track. At the end of the day, willpower is a limited resource. It's not something that you should be relying on to achieve your weight loss goals. By planning ahead, building habits, and setting up your environment for success, you can bypass the need for willpower altogether. And when you're not wasting all that mental energy, resisting temptation, you can focus on what really matters. You, it's going to give your life more, more peace. You're going to be free from all the mental chatter and you're going to have the freedom that you need to focus on your health, your family, and achieve your long-term success. So just remember, it's not about fighting yourself every day and white-knuckling it. It's about creating systems 
that make success inevitable. So thank you so much for joining me today. If this idea of bypassing willpower and building sustainable systems sounds like something that you want to implement in your own life, this week in our group coaching calls, we're going to get, we're going to dive deep into how to implement this concept and implement these strat. And we're going to talk about different ways to implement these strategies into your daily routine so that you can make this work for your unique program. If you're not part of the coaching program, and if this idea of bypassing willpower and building a sustainable, building sustainable systems sounds like something that you want to implement in your own life, I have a really exciting opportunity for you. I am offering a free, no obligation, 30-minute one-to-one coaching call where we'll, we're going to dive deep into your personal health journey and strategize how to create a plan that works for you without relying on willpower. This is a powerful step to get you started on your success path, to get laser focused on your goals, to learn actionable strategies that will help you to achieve permanent weight loss, uh, freedom from food addiction, and long-term success. So this is a chance to just take a look at what's been holding you back and how you can shift into a lifestyle that doesn't require you to white knuckle through every craving. Uh, I would love to talk with you if that's something that would be helpful for you. Each week, I, I donate two and a half hours of my time to people who are not in my coaching program for these free one-on-one coaching calls. So if you are ready to take that next step, click the link in my bio, or you can visit my website at www.healthyrealfood.com. And I can't wait to connect with you and help you to make those changes that will transform your life. Thank you so much for coming, everybody. Have a great day.